Hey guys, so Sen and welcome to Project 67 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating a random password generator by just using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So now here you can see we have this UI right here. So if I just click on this generate, so it will now just generate a new password for us. And if I just click on this copy, so it will now copy this password to the clipboard. So now let's suppose if I just remove that and right click on it and paste it right here. So it will now just paste this password right here because we click on this copy so it allows us to copy that password so if you just click on this generate password uh, so it will now generate a new password for us okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our coder and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like 067 and then password generator inside that we are going to be creating three files the first one will be like index.html the second one will be just tile.css and then the third one will be just app.js for javascript so now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code all right so now let me just write a doc type html let me change the password to like random password generator and now let's just link that to our css and also with our javascript okay so now let me just um hide this metadata from there right click on it and open it with a live server so now the first thing i'll do is i'll just create a container inside this container we are going to be just writing h2 of random password generator okay underneath this h2 we are going to be creating our input and now let's just give a placeholder of like uh, create a password and now let me just give id of like just a password and underneath this input we are going to be creating a container for our buttons so it should be buttons and now let's just create our two button the first one will be just button one just button one like that duplicate it and this one will be button two and now let me just write a label for that like generate or gener yeah generate will be fine and now let's just write a copy so once we save our file and this is how it looks like right now so now let's just jump right into our css and now let's just style that a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll just remove this margin and also padding and now let me just write a box sizing or border box and user select will be none for now and font family will be just send serif okay and now let's just declare our variable which will be like um main color and now let's just write rgb of like seven comma seven let me just write seven and five five and that's going to do it all right so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to just write a body and display will be totally flex justify content will be center align items will be center and now let's just give them a little bit of min height of 100 vh and background will be just war and or variable name right here so once we save that so here you can see this is how it looks like currently and now let's just get into the container so now let me just get this container right away so let me just select this container the background color will be totally white and now let's just put a little bit of padding of 30 pixels in there save it and this is how it looks like okay so now let me just get my h2 which is this one <laughs> here you can see we give a no all right now let me just correct that to random and now we are going to be selecting this h2 so we are going to be just writing container and h2 and inside there margin bottom bottom will be just like 40 pixel and also text align will be centered font size let me just change the font size of it to like 26 pixel okay and color will be just this war which we've created like main color so once we save it and this is how it looks like okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is to just style our input right away so now let me just get my input which is this input right here okay so padding will be just 20 pixel and user select will be none for now and then we have a height of like 50 pixel and the width will be just like 400 pixel and now let me just put a border of oh come on border will be none and now border will be two pixels solid and or primary color or main color what you want to call it and outline will be also none so now let me just place this one up above and finally let, let me just increase the font size of it to like 20 pixels so once you save it and this is how it looks like right now okay so we can write our stuff in it so now let's just get into our buttons which is this buttons container and now let's just style that so now let me just select my buttons and for a display of flex on it 
and justify content will be space around in this case and align items will be totally centered so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now and now let's just start it each like one by one so for that we have to select all of the buttons come on buttons and which means like we are going to be selecting this button and also that one as well font size will be just 15 pixel and margin top will be just 40 pixel and border will be two pixels solid and that war which is that color and now let's just give a width of like 155 and pixel and height will be just 50 pixel and text align will be totally center and background color will be just that war and that uh, main color which we've created and then color will be totally like white and also cursor will be pointer and text transform will be just like totally uppercase so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now you can change the ui however you like but in my case <laughs> i think they would do the thing all right so now we are done with the html and also with the css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity to it so the first thing i would do for javascript is i'll just get my gen button like a generate button and now let me just select there right here okay so create a selector of btn1 duplicate it and btn2 and the next button we would have is our copy button okay and now let's just get our password so password and it will be now equals to document dot get element by id of password which we've provided right here okay so now let me just log everything to the console so i want to make sure that we select everything so gen button and duplicate it and this one will be now set to copy button and then we have a password so once we save it and now let's just open our console i'm on a network tab now let's just go to our console so we have button one button two and we have this input right here everything is selected perfectly all right so now let me just get rid of these console logs from there and now first of all let's just attach our um event listener on the gen generate button and also the copy button as well so for that let me just write like a gen button and add event listener of click so whenever we click on it so we want to call this function okay so not this one but here we want to just write like a gen and password which means like generate password you want to call it right away and now the next thing that you have to do is to just pass or copy password uh, function as well and we are going to be just uh, creating that just in a second let me just change this gen button to copy button okay so now let's just create these two functions so as the name suggests that gen password uh, function allows us to generate the password and then we have a copy password and this uh, function allows us to copy the password so now let's just create the first one so i want to just write a function with the name of like gen and password okay so now let me just create that really quickly and inside there we are going to be writing something crazy right here let charts and it will be now equals to uh the first thing i would do is i'll just write um numbers from zero through nine and then i'll just write um the letters from a through z in lowercase and then i want to write all of the symbols which we have inside our keyboard and also i want to write that um letters from a through z in uppercase as well so now let me just write that craziness i want to zoom out a bit so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and now let's just write like um a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q u r s t u v w or double v what do you want to call it x y and z okay so now let's just write our symbol so the first symbol we have is like um i want to start from this one and can pronounce their names right away and dollar sign then this sign and the 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 okay we are now done with the sample so now let me just write uh, letters from a through z in uppercase so a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q u r s t u r i guess i missed it off something so let me just write like <clears throat> a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w o w x y and z all right so that was that craziness i was talking about now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to just write a password length password length will be equals to seven characters and now let's just write our password and it will be now equals to empty string okay 
So that's that. So now let's just iterate or through our pass for length. So I'm just write like let i equals to zero and i will be now less than or equal to pass for length and then i plus plus. And inside there we are going to be just writing or random password. So now let me just write like the random password, random number to be precise. And now let's just write like math dot floor and then math dot random. So it will give us like random number. And now let's just um, write a charge length, like a character length, and that's that. Now the next thing which you have to do is to get our password and attach or charge dot substring. Substring. Let me just get this method in there. Okay, and now let's just put our random numbers in there and also random numbers plus one. Okay, so that's that. So now let me just get my password and uh, you know what? Um, I'm going to just write here and let me just try type a value. Let me just log that to the console, comment this one out. And let me just write password dot, not dot nothing but just password. And now let me just add something like that. And general art, so it will still not allow me to provide any value. You know what? I'm gonna go there and here, where is my password? Right here. Now, here I'm gonna just provide a value of like uh, something, something, and once we save it, and it will now give us the value of something. All right, so now we are good to go. Now, let me just remove that value from there, and now let me just remove this console lock from there. You know what? We made a mistake. So here you can see we have this password right here and we are now setting the value of it to like nothing and then we are reusing it right here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this value from there and I'm going to pass it right here and it will be now equals to, let me just remove that one and it will be now equals to this password right here. Okay. So now equals to password and now once we save our file and now if i generate that so here you can see it will now generate a new password for us right here okay so anytime i click on this button it will now generate this random password for us so this is it about this function right here it will just allows us to generate a random password for us and also we are now calling this function right away so if i just refresh there and now if i just click on it so here you can see it will just call this function right here all right, so that's that. Now let's just create this copy from uh, password. So it will allow us to copy our password. So let me just create a function, zoom in a bit, and give a name of like copy password. And it will be now equals to like, um, let copy text, and it will be now equals to, um, you know what? <laughs> let's just uh, copy this text from there and paste it right here. So that's the value. So now let me just write a copy text. And this method will allows us to select everything which is inside this input. So here now you can see we have this like copy text and we are calling this function on it. So once we save it and like let's suppose if you have something like um, if you just generate that and now if I want to select this so I'm going to just click on this copy and it says like select is not a function on copy text. I don't know why because <laughs> we are providing a value in here. Let me just remove that value in there and save it and now let me just generate a password and if i click on it so here you can see it will now select this um anything which is inside this input so if i just refresh it and now let me just generate one more and if i just click on the copy so it will now just select this text right here and now the next command which we are going to be executing which is also by the way deprecated so let me just write document.exc and then command Okay, so now let's just put it as an argument of copy. And now if you just save our file, so if I just generate a new password, and if I click on this copy, so it will now just copy it to my clipboard. And now let's suppose if I want to just paste it right here. So I'm going to just right click on it and paste it. And here you can see, we now just copy this password and here you can see the password. So now let me just add a little bit of like um, uh, space in there. Okay, so now let's just generate a new password. And now hit the copy. And now let's just hit Control or Command V. So here you can see it will now copy this one as well. Okay, so to show you that. So now everything is working the way we expect him to work. So let me just zoom out a bit. And we are totally done with our project. If you want to refactor this code, I'm pretty sure you can refactor that. But I'm not going to do that because I've already written all of this code. And I have still a lot of projects to cover. So I'm not going to refactor that. But maybe... I'm not sure but maybe once you visit to my repository so this uh, code will be refactor okay so i think that was about tonight's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye